Okay, today what we're going to do is show you how to plant your seeds or germinate your seeds. There's a number of different medias we can germinate into. However, today we're going to use the super starter plugs. That's compressed tree bark held together by natural rubbers from the rubber tree. It is an organic product and does biodegrade. Like I said, there's other medias, a lot of these other medias, you know, soil, cocoa, coir, coconut husks, rock wool, cut lean, all these medias will work well for germinating seeds. And the reason I like this media is there is a little mycorrhizal inoculant inside here which helps our roots come out nice and perfectly white and fuzzy. When we're moistening our media, we do want to pre-moisten it just a little bit. You'll see if I, I squeeze it, you'll get a few drops out, but it's not going to be completely drenched. So this cube is ready to put seeds in. We're going to use some heirloom tomato seeds for demonstration today. Organo plugs. What I like to do is grab a seed. If, if the end of your utensil is moist, usually you can grab them. Place the seed in here just like this goes down about an inch and a half. The next thing we're going to do is cover this up. The reason we cover it up is so that light doesn't get on the seed, prevents unhealthy microbacteria, algae, things like that from deterring our seed to sprout. So now our seed is in our media. We're going to put it back in here. You can see in here there is a little bit of water down in here inside the gullies but it is not sitting in a half inch of water just a very very little bit of water on there and it will keep it nice and moist seedlings love humidity and moisture right around 70 to 85 degrees so in order to keep that moisture in here what we're going to do is put a tall dome on our tray and we have our T5 two foot light. This is a great starter kit. It to work well for germinating seeds and clones. If you're having a problem keeping your temperature up, we like to use a seedling heat mat. They work great. There's a number of different brands. All of them work well. Once we have our seedling, the next thing you're gonna see is the seed's gonna germinate. It's gonna look like this. You have nice, healthy white roots coming out the bottom. And these are our two feeder leaves. Now this is not ready for transplanting under an HID or high intensity light just yet. So we're gonna let another two sets of leaves come up. So we want at least four sets of leaves before we're, we're transplanting. Five days for this to be transplanted. Like I say, you see the, the second set of leaves coming in. You know, the roots are more established, a lot more roots. You can see how nice and white and fuzzy they are. That's a good sign that our media is doing its job. We have nice temperature, we have nice moisture here. One thing to help us understand where our temperature is, is to get a thermometer and go ahead and sacrifice one of your cubes. Simply push it in and make sure that the temperature is between 75 and 80 right in there. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to clone. The general rule of thumb, the more fleshy the growth, the better it tends to clone. One very important thing is sterility. We're going to use a brand new pair of scissors here. You can also use razor blades, they work very well. Just remember to always cut away from yourself. I like to use the new growth. You can use side growth or bottom growth, but know that the top growth usually clones a little better. If you're using side growth, remember you want to clone off the main stem. A leaf like this will not clone for most plants. Once again, research your plant and know exactly what you're doing. But these will be some good general tips for you. You see we have our cutting here. What we're going to do is simply take away these feeder leaves and we're going to take these ones away too. If you want at least four leaves on there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut at a 45 degree angle. This gives us plenty of surface tension or surface area for the hormone. And some people like to scrape the surface. This helps promote the roots to come out. And usually woodier plants, that's the case. I 
prefer to have a sharp utensil or razor blade to just break the surface of the skin three or four times around the base of the cutting. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Clonex, we're gonna squeeze it into a sterile shot glass. You need to use a shot glass, whatever holds your Clonex. And this is not a liquid, but a gel. So the reason I like to use the gels, in this case we're using Clonex, there's plenty of other gels out there, Root Tech, Olivia's, Power Clone, all great hormones to use. And from here, you can see that it's gonna coat. It drips off a little bit, that's okay. But now you can see we have a clone that has its hormone on there. We like to get the hormone on there as quick as possible because the other thing it does, it will coat and help decrease possible infection. From here, we're going to grab one of our super starter plugs and simply, there's already a hole in there for us. We're gonna push it in and you'll feel it kind of break the bottom there. And now, there's our clone. Remember, clones enjoy the same environment seedlings do. 70 to 85 degrees in temperature and humidity as well. And we're gonna put it right back into our seedling tray, put it under a very powerful light, 250, 400 watt, 1000 watt, you're gonna to tend to have less success, your clone's gonna wilt or uh, possibly even burn. It just doesn't have the root structure it needs yet. So we like to use the T5 lights, they work great for germination and cloning. A little two footer here fits in our dome, simply cut a hole on each side, slide the, the T5 two foot light directly in and you are ready to go. The other method of cloning is using a clone machine. In this case, we're looking at the Easy Clone. There's a no number of other brands out there. American Agritech makes a very good clone machine as well. And this is clear. This is just to give you a visual of the water misting the area. Usually when you buy them, they'll be black. That's what you want. You don't want the light going through and creating algae and lithium and things that may prove harmful to our cuttings. So we do the same thing. We look for a nice cutting. This plant's getting a bit cut up here, but let's go ahead and for the sake of uh, showing everyone to take a cutting. Once again, don't forget, let's take those big feeder leaves off here on these ones too. And if you have any budding or bolting, we want to take those little buds or flowers um, bolting off the plant. They tend to take up energy from the cutting as well. From here, don't forget, 45 degrees. You can either sh a scrape or I prefer to just put a few little slits down the bottom of the plant. Now, some people don't do either and have success. Um, from here, we are going to dump the stem into our Clonex. And our clone machine also will have a liquid hormone in here. I like to use Green Fuse. Clonex also makes a great solution. Olivia's makes a solution. A power Clone makes a solution. Do your research to in induce rooting as well. And then we're just gonna take our little plug right here, put it in, and pop it back in its hole there. And in four or five days, some, in some cases a little longer, you'll have roots. And at this point, this is ready to transplant. And the reason I say it's ready, we have a root structure, a tap root, and we have four to six leaves up top. We should be okay and ready to transplant this into an organic grow room 